Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It's been a while. It's been two months since the last time I posted a video and I am back. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in today's video, we will be doing a mukbang. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Two months guys, it's been two months since my last video. I don't know why it's taken so long for me to pick up the camera. Honestly, I have no excuse. But I decided to do a little mukbang to come back and let's talk. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I did make some ramen birria, which, can you guys like look into that? It looks bomb. I've never had this, so I have no clue how it's going to taste. Um, low key, I never was interested in eating this. Um, it did look appealing to me. I'm going to add some salsa to this. Um, but actually, my sister made some birria tacos yesterday for sale. So I was like, dude, like, let me get like some birria and let me try it with some ramen and let's vlog it or record it for a YouTube video. Um, now adding some lemon. It's been quite some time since the last time I was here. Last time I was here, I told you guys about getting my braces removed. We did the teeth whitening treatment and then I dyed my hair and then I kind of just went in my and that's pretty much where I've been. Um, it's funny because I have picked up the camera. We've um, we went to California twice now and I recorded while I was gone, but then it just didn't feel right to post it So I just never did We actually just came back from a trip from uh, being in San Diego. I'll insert some clips here sisters being in the um, ocean pretty much um, I'm not a fan of the beach at all and there were sea lions there we went to San Diego and we went to La Jolla Cove which if you haven't been there it's really beautiful technically you're not supposed to swim in there but it was really nice so I took them over the water's too cold in California for me so I will not do it like I'll just take in the Sun um, I'm still kind of getting over my tan if I'm being honest but yeah I'm gonna take the first bite. Um, I hope it's not too hot. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't know what I expected, but it's good. This one has more meat in it. Hmm. It's actually really good. The way I did it, um, I cooked the beer, I mean, I cooked the ramen in the consomme juice, and then I topped it off with meat. Um, I didn't use any seasoning on it. You know how, like, the little ramen has little packets of seasoning? Yeah, I didn't use it. I'm kind of glad I didn't because, like, this has a lot of flavor already, so I could not have imagined. It would have been super salty, I think. Mmm, this is good, very good, but back to our topic, where have I been? Um, honestly, I've just been working, um, work is not even stressful, so I really don't know why I don't pick up the camera. Last time I told you guys that I had left my old job, I think I, I'm gonna be at this job next month for two years already, which is crazy because time flies, but I was very it was I was in a very toxic work environment at my old job which kind of sucks because I don't know if I ever shared but I used to work for a hematology oncology doctor which is a blood specialist and a cancer specialist and I learned so much um, and I used to learn so much from them like I always talk about this because it's sad that I had to leave because of the work environment but I learned so much knowledge of like cancer and like things that happen in your blood and I wish I would have stayed if I didn't have the conflicts I did like I would have still probably be there but I am very happy where I'm at now I've met really good people and I do enjoy where I work so like that's great for me so I don't have an excuse of why I haven't posted um, Eric pushes me so much guys but if you guys 
follow Eric on his YouTube channel, you'll see that he also doesn't record. Well, I, I like he records a lot. He just doesn't have time to post it. And I am the other way. Like I can edit a video really fast. It's just getting to making the video. I feel like I go through these waves. Like if you look at my channel, I go through these cycles where like I'm very consistent and then I, I just stop and take a break. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I feel like I probably do that for my own mental sanity. But um, it's been it's been a roller coaster being on YouTube. I feel like you try so much for a long time and then you kind of just mentally tap out for a little bit. We actually recently just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And like, I think I was at like 4,800 when I stopped recording. Not, re not stopped recording, but my last upload. So seeing the number go up made me so motivated to just keep posting. But I don't know. I don't know what, what's been going on. Lately, I haven't feel like I have much motivation. And I don't know what it is. I don't know. But I promise that I'll stop leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back. Um, I haven't really posted any Charger videos either. I still have my car. I love my car. I want to sell the 350Z. I made a video telling you guys that I bought a new car. And then I just never used it I we actually got in a car accident um, on Father's Day actually was it Father's Day I don't recall yeah it was actually it was on Father's Day so on Father's Day we went to Fry's to pick up beer we went to pick up something at Fry's and we were leaving and there's Three different exits at the fries where I'm at so we left the one furthest to like the north side and then there's a street right away so then we left but we were cut off so we were in the middle lane trying to merge onto the right lane and the car that was on the right lane cut us off to turn into that neighborhood and he did some damage to the front end of the 350Z. I'll enter a quick clip here. Um, it's not too bad. At the time, me and Eric kind of froze. Eric was actually driving this car at the time. And we, I screamed like Eric like to like my reaction from it. But by the time that he realized, he just stopped. No, I'm lying. He went to the other, like Eric from the middle lane kind of went this way to avoid the car actually like hitting us hitting us more um and then we left it wasn't until we drove about like two three minutes that we're like when should we should call the police because i mean we didn't realize that the car was damaged at all which is not really damaged it's just, i think what happened was that we ended up hitting their wheel and if we would have reacted faster which we should have thinking back now I don't know why we didn't I think it was kind of just a shock and we also didn't think that our cars touched at all but they did and obviously at this at that point like the car cutting us off is what made the problem so we waited for the police officer to come they took the report unfortunately because we had no information from them they could only make the report they said if the other driver called back like somehow we would get their information but we haven't yet and it's been uh, a couple weeks now it's been like three four weeks so we don't expect to f hear back from it um eric might want to paint the car sooner or later so i guess it doesn't really affect it luckily it didn't hit the headlights so the car is fine i just personally don't like that car i feel like it has really bad peripheral vision for one it's peripheral vision sucks it's very low to the ground i'm 5'8 so like i cannot do that i know a lot of people do it i cannot be in and out of these cars i struggle and then it's so short and down to the floor like I feel like my ass is scraping the floor to be honest and it's very loud the exhaust that Eric put in it is just very loud and I just can't do it to be honest so I told Eric I don't want the car right now we actually have one I think we have three I think we have three 350 Z's outside 
that Eric had. No, three, four. No, I think we have three. And I'm like, just sell them all. Just sell them. I don't want it. Eric recently bought, um, or I guess he sold our hood on the 350Z. And he bought a carbon fiber one. I think his friend uh, traded it for him. And then I think Eric still gave him like 200 bucks for it. I am not a big fan of carbon fiber. I feel like it's very delicate. Yes, it looks nice. But I personally am not a big fan. But Eric didn't care. He sold it. Um, my car is an HR, so I guess the hoods are a little bit different and a little bit harder to find. So, I don't know. Eric sold it. He's happy about it. I personally don't want the car. I've been asking him to sell it. He doesn't want to sell it. Um, I think he wants to buy it. I think he wants to swap it to a manual or buy a manual, but... 350Zs are expensive right now. The market is crazy for these cars, and I think he's just trying to hold off on it. I personally don't care for it, so I probably won't bring it back in my channel anytime soon. It's a nice car. I personally think they're really nice. It's just not my thing. Um, I was thinking of dailing it when gas prices were going up because... I live in Arizona and the gas prices here were crazy. When I say crazy, I mean crazy. I mean the Chargers are V8 and I usually would pump. This is when the gas was like 4, 420 something, 3 something. I would be pumping like 80, 90 dollars, max 92 dollars. And then it got to the point where gas was so expensive. I was pumping like 145 dollars per premium gas. And Eric was telling me, he's like, just take the 350Z. But I feel like the charge is way better on gas, to be honest. Like, we've taken, well, we, we took it to California when we went um, early May. And one, one tank of gas took us there. Um, and we still had like a quarter left. And then we pumped, um, luckily, we pumped at, what was it, um, Costco, so we didn't pay too much there. But, yeah, I honestly, I love the Charger. Um, it's been great to me. I haven't really done much changes to the car. Other than we did change the exhaust um, tips uh, to a little bit bigger ones. Um, I'll insert Eric's videos up here for you guys if you guys want to watch those. Very interesting to watch and we did um, add a um, what is it is it a diffuser I think a diffuser I think we added a diffuser an aftermarket diffuser it looks neat um, it looks a little different I kept the original just in case I ever want to switch it back which also Eric made a video on that so that was actually my Christmas gifts from Eric so smart guy smart guy because I would have never bought them <laughs> to be honest but I, I kept asking him that I want it I'm still insistent about getting a lip for the car, but my car is pretty low right now, and I don't know how the lip would be. It probably wouldn't last too long, but I am looking forward to that. Um, so like I mentioned that we had gone to San Diego. Can you guys imagine what happened on our way to San Diego? Well, I'll tell you. I've never been pulled over. And I've never gotten a ticket. But I was driving to San Diego. And Eric is such a backseat driver type of person. And he kept telling me to watch my speed. Well, we were going from Arizona over to California. And we were in Yuma. Um, we were literally like, we were in Yuma. And we were like an exit away from like our first stop to eat breakfast. And I get pulled over I was well I don't recall what my speed was but the officer said I was driving 85 on a 65 I lied he said I was driving 84 on a 65 I don't recall being 84 but whatever um he pulled me over and then there was a Jeep driving behind us, 
and he pulled her over too <clears throat> when i pulled to the side he asked me like if that lady was with us i told him no and then he said that he was gonna have to give me a ticket because i was driving 20 miles over the speed limit and i'm assuming that the other person got a ticket too because she was like on my ass not an excuse but i mean maybe i was driving 85 i mean i really don't think so it was for the july weekend so maybe they were just out to get anybody at that time but i got a ticket eric was giving me such a hard time the whole trip he's like i tell you to watch your speed and i mean i've I mean, I don't, I don't purposely drive fast, but in the Charger, the, I drive speed limit. And I was driving my dad's truck this time around. And yeah, I guess it was just not my lucky day. Um, I had to pay $270 to do online class. It was a four hour course. Um, I think just the court fee itself was like $160. I had never gone through this. So I was kind of like stressed out, but I wasn't going to go to court in Yuma. The drive is like three, four hours to drive from here. I wasn't going to make that drive, but it is what it is. I guess I'll just watch my speed. I told my coworker and she's like, everybody drives over 65 when you're traveling. Luckily, he did drop my ticket to speed 75. So from 84, he said he put it down to 75 because I think to, at 85 it would have been federal or what is it like a felony or something because you're driving so so like so fast so I guess he kind of helped me out he was being nice um it was quick it was like we were there for like eight ten minutes maybe um I did have my dad Eric and my three little sisters with me and their dog so yeah nothing crazy but it was an experience for sure but i mean that's pretty much where i've been guys i don't purposely leave and not come back i just guess i just needed like a mental break how I'll, I'll have this video posted for you guys by monday today is saturday so it's pretty new I do have another hair appointment coming up to retouch my hair. Not that you guys have noticed much because I haven't been here, so it's not like you guys can see how it looked or how it was looking, but if you guys want to watch my most recent videos, you guys are more welcome than to watch them. They're all in my channel. Um, it would actually mean a lot if you guys went back and watched those, but I'm here just enjoying my soup. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. and. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys do want to see more videos please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in my next video the soup is good guys it's just a lot of food i feel like como que se siente más than normal because i would have finished my maruchan by now All right, I'll see you guys later. Solo, solo, solo.